So, Dean, one of the things that I'd like to do is start with the calendar. But before I do that, one of the interesting things that I found, and I actually stumbled upon this with Outlook, is that when people open up Outlook in the morning, it automatically defaults to the inbox. And so what I think is a best practice is to have the calendar be your default view. So if you click on the calendar, what's really interesting is this is very typical of a view that I would see. And people think that they actually are, are fully utilizing the Outlook add-in, but that's quite not the case. So I want to show you how we recommend the calendar look. So the first thing we're going to do is have the calendar be the default view. And the way that you do that is go up to Tools and then click on Options and click on the other tab and click on Advanced Options. And then you see at the top where it says Start Up in this folder, it says Inbox. You're going to click on Browse and highlight Calendar and click OK and OK and OK. So now when you open up Outlook, it's going to default to the calendar view and not the inbox. Now, what's very interesting is most people are working out of the month view, and there's nothing wrong with looking at that as often as you need to, but we're more proponents of working off of the day view or the week view. So you can see in the drop-down window, it says day, week, month. Go ahead and open that up, and you're not quite in the Outlook add-in views. You can see that the first five views say GTD, we recommend that you pick the one that says Day, Week, Month, Task, GTD. Great. Now, the other piece here is that you can add a to-do bar, which we find very helpful. So if you go up to View and click on the to-do bar and click on Normal, you now are going to have this to-do bar. But you can see that it's still not utilizing the add-in feature here. So can you show how to get the to-do bar to be working with the add-in? I'd be happy to. As Meg said, we have lots of views that ship with the add-in. All of them end in GTD. We also want you to be able to take advantage of all the fields the add-in provides in views. By default, when we enable the to-do bar, the tasks, which is what the add-in uses for next actions, are arranged by category and are expanded. What we'd like is to have them arranged by next action and collapse so we have a nice tight view. To do this, I'll right-click on the categories and choose Custom. That brings up this box that lets me change things. I'll click on Group By, which is currently set to Categories, and what I'd really like is to group by next action. So what I can do is click down here in the Select Available Fields and choose User Defined Fields in the folder, which contains all the fields that come with the Outlook add-in. In this case, action is the one I want, so I'll pick action. Now, a very handy tip that Meg coaches people to use is to go to the box at the bottom right and change the Expand Collapse options. You can set it so that when you go into the calendar view, all the tasks in the to-do bar are expanded, collapsed, or the way you last left them. We recommend selecting all collapsed so that when you go into the calendar view, all the next actions in the to-do bar will be collapsed, and nice and neat so you don't have to fold stuff up just to get started. I'll say OK and OK. And now you can see that my view is arranged by next actions, at calls, at computers, and projects. If I expand these, you can see the calls that I have to make and the things that I have to do with my computer. So you can see that if you follow these steps, when you enter the calendar view, everything is arranged by next action, and you have a very handy-dandy calendar view to help you get things done. The other tip that I like to share with my clients is the all-day event. Now, this isn't necessarily part of the Outlook add-in. It's part of Outlook. But when we talk about the three ways to use the calendar, one is for appointments that day. You can see at 10 o'clock, he has a call with me. But then also, under the all-day event, you can put things that you have to do that day or any FYIs for that day. But the interesting piece here is that when you're doing the weekly review, one of the steps is to go back in your calendar and review um, you know, go back about a week or two and to see if there are any loose threads. And one of the things that my clients ask me is, well, how do I know when I've completed something on all-day events? And so Dean has come up with a tip for that. We sure have. Right out of the box, the GTD add-in has a view to allow you to see completed items. I've changed the color to gray here, so we can show you how to change the color to whatever you'd like. You can see that this item is marked complete, and what I want to do is change the color of a completed item. To do that, you can go to View, Current View, and Customize Current View. Now, I would encourage everyone to learn to use Outlook Views. They're an extremely powerful way of helping you customize your Outlook so you can get things done your way. For example, we'll use the Automatic Formatting tab. You can see that the add-in comes with the rule for setting the color of a completed item. You can modify this rule or create one yourself.
Basically, this rule says if the condition is that the completed equals yes, which is our case when something is completed, what color do you want it to be? Let's make it a nice bright green so I can see what's actually been done. I'll click OK and OK, and if I open up Provide Info to Mathematics and mark it complete and close it, you can see that it's nice and green. When I do my weekly review, I can see that Provide Info to Mathematics is bright green, which means I've done it, but Setup Times for Denton Fenders is not green, so I should go back and do it and tie up my loose ends. Fabulous. Fabulous. So those are the tips, basically, to go up and to change the calendar so that that's your default view, to be able to set up your to-do bar, to be able to collapse all the categories, which is very nice and, and tight for you, to be able to go and change the view so that you can change the color when something is complete under all-day event. Mm -hmm.